Good day everyone, my name is Teacher Edmund and I will be one of the reporters for today. So, how are you doing? Hope you're doing fine. Okay, before we start, uh, let me remind you, please turn off the microphone of everyone because we don't need any interruptions when the report is already being presented okay it is also good that you have a snacks beside you because we are about to uh, share the story of Rizal during the time that uh, he was in uh, Ateneo de Manila so yes he was attending school in Ateneo de Manila and he really do exceed and he really do, did an excellent uh, study uh, when the time that he was studying in Ateneo de Manila before we proceed to the actual discussion, let's all watch this short video clip first. Thank you. Four months after the martyrdom of Gombriza and with Doña Teodor still in prison, Jose, who had not yet celebrated his 11th birthday, was sent to Manila. I know that every one of you is familiar with Ateneo de Manila. So this was established in 1859 uh, with the Spanish Jesuits. So uh, they are the ones who established this school. It was started when the Spanish Jesuits um, established the Escuela Municipal de Manila so it was located in Intramuros, Manila so the first name of the Ateneo de Manila was Escuela Pia then they changed it to uh, Ateneo Municipal then later on uh, it was became uh, Ateneo de Manila uh, here are my group mates to present to you from first year up to the fourth year of Rizal's story in Ateneo de Manila. So this is about his scholastic triumphs. All right. So we have teacher Kimi to start the discussion. Rizal enters the Ateneo. Pasiano is the one who accompanied Rizal who went to Manila on June 10, 1872. He took the entrance examinations on Christian doctrine, arithmetic, and reading at the College of San Juan de Letran. He passed them. He returned to Columba to stay a few days with his family and to attend the town fiesta. His father, who first wished him to study at Letran, changed his mind and decided to send him to Ateneo instead. First, Father Magin Ferrando, 
who was the college registrar, refused to admit him for two reasons. The first one is he was late for registration. The second one is he was sickly and undersized for his age, result 10, 11 years old. He was the first of his family to adopt the surname Rizal. He registered under this name at the Ateneo because their family name Mercado had become under the suspicion of the Spanish authorities. The location where Jose studied is in Intramuros, within the walls of Manila. He bordered in a house outside Intramuros on Caraballo Street, 25 minutes walk from the college. That boarding house was owned by a spinter named Itay, who owned their self family the amount of 300 pesos. This suit system of education. The system of education given by the Jesuits in the Ateneo was more advanced than the other colleges in that period. It trained the character of the student by rigid discipline and religious instruction. It promoted physical culture, humanities, and scientific studies. Aside from offered vocational courses in agriculture, commerce, mechanics, and surveying. The students heard mass in the morning before the beginning of the daily class. Classes in every subject were opened and closed with prayers. The students were divided into two groups, namely the Roman Empire consisting of the internos or borders of the Cartagenian Cartagenian Empire compared of the externos or non-borders. Each of these empires had its ranks. The best student in each empire was the emperor. The second best is tribune. The third best is the, cu the curion. The fourth best is certain centurion. centurion. The fifth best, the standard bearer, bearer, standard bearer, within the empire. The students fought empire to answer questions on the day's lesson. The two groups, Roman Empire and Carthaginian, Carthaginian Empire, were in constant compression for supreme supremacy in the class they had their distinctive banners red for the romans and blue for carthaginians 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 the beginning of the school term both banners were used equally in the classroom the ateneo students in result time wore uniform which consisted of hemp fabric trousers and striped cotton coat, the coat material called Rayadilio. Rayadilio. Rizal's first year in Ateneo in 1872 to 1873. June 1872 is his first day of class in the Ateneo. Rizal's first professor in the Ateneo was Father Jose Beck, whom he described as a tall, thin man with a body slightly bent forward, a hair with walls, an ascetic face, severe and inspired small, small deep silken eyes, a sharp nose that was almost Greek, and thin lips forming an arm whose ends fell towards the chin. Being a newcomer and knowing little Spanish, Rizal was placed at the bottom of the class. He was an external. Hence, he was Wins assigned to the 
Carthaginians occupying the end of the line. After the first week, he progressly, progressed rapidly. At the end of the month, he became emperor. To improve his Spanish, Rizal took private lesson in Santa Isabel College during the moon recesses. When other Athenian st students were playing or gossiping, he paid three pesos those extra Spanish, Spanish lesson, but it was money well spent. In the second half of his first year in the Ateneo, Rizal didn't try hard enough to re retain his academic supremacy, which he held during the first half of the term. He was placed second at the end of the year, although he Although all his grades were still marked excellent. Teacher Jane will continue the report. Summer vacation in 1872. Rizal returned to Kalamba for his summer vacation, but he didn't really enjoy it because his mother was still in prison. So to cheer him up, his sister Saturnina brought him to Tanawa with her but it didn't take his sadness away. So without telling his father, he went to Santa Cruz to visit her mother in prison. There, he told of his mother his brilliant grades in school, and his mother embraced him. After the vacation, he returned to Manila and now boarded and, uh, and is now boarded inside in Chamorros at number six Magaliani Street, Donia people who, have, who had a widowed, a widowed daughter and four sons was his landlady. Rizal's second year in Ateneo Nothing unusual happened during Rizal's second term in Ateneo except that he repented on how he neglected his studies during the previous year. So, to regain his leadership, he studied more and more. He became the emperor of the class once again. At the end of the year, he received an excellent grades in all his subjects and a gold medal. He returned triumphantly to Laguna for his summer vacation. The Prophecy of Mother's Release Rizal immediately went to Santa Cruz to visit his mother. He cheered his mother up and told her about his scholastic triumph in Teneo. While they were talking, Dunya Tedora told him of his dream. Rizal interpreted it saying that his mother will be released in prison in three months time. She just smiled thinking that it is just a way to console her. But the prophecy became true. Dunya Tedora was set free. She was very proud of Rizal. Rizal was, Rizal was like Joseph in the Bible who has who has the ability to interpret dreams? Let's now have Teacher MC to continue the discussion. Teenage interest in reading. 1874 in Calamba, when Rizal became to take interest in reading romantic novels. As a normal teenager, he became interested in love stories and romantic tales. The first favorite novel of Rizal was The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. These thrilling novels left deep impression on him. His imagination was tricked by the suffering of Edmond Dantes, who escaped from Dagion of Chaton Deep. During his escape there, he found a buried treasure on the rocky island of Monte Cristo and his dramatic revenge on his enemies who watched him. As a Baracus reader, he read not only fiction but also non-fiction. He persuaded his father to buy him a costly set of Cesar Cantus' history work entitled Universal History. And also, Rizal read travel in the Philippines by Dr. Theodor Lagor, German scientist traveler who visited the Philippines in 1859 to 1860. The book impressed Rizal because of first observation of the defects of the Spanish colonization. 
Second, his prophecy that someday Spain would lose the Philippines and that America would come to succeed her as colonizer. Now let's talk about third year in Ateneo. June 1874, Rizal returned to the Ateneo for his junior year. Shortly after the opening of classes, his mother arrived and joyously told him that she was released from prison, just as he had predicted during his last visit. However, despite the family happiness, Rizal did not make an excellent showing in his studies than the previous year. But his grade remained excellent in all subjects. He obtained only one medal in Latin and he failed to win medal in Spanish because he was not fluently sonorous in Spanish. He was beaten by a Spaniard. Now, let's go to the fourth year of Rizal in Ateneo. On June 16, 1875, Rizal became an internal in the Ateneo. One of his prop was Father Francisco de Fala Sanchez. He influenced Rizal to study harder and encouraged him to write poem. Father Sanchez was model of uprightness, earnestness, and loved the advancement of his pupils. Inspired by Father Sanchez, Rizal resumed his studies with vigor and zest. He tapped all his classmates in all subjects and won five medals at the end of the school term. And we have Teacher Nova to report the next topics. Rizal's last year in Ateneo. His studies continued farewell. As a matter of fact, he excelled in all subjects. The most brilliant Atenean of his time. He was truly the pride of Jesuit. Rizal's finished his last year at the Ateneo in the blaze of glory. He obtained the highest grades in all subjects, philosophy, physics, biology, languages, macrology, etc. Rizal's graduation with the highest honors. Rizal graduated at the head of his class. His scholastic records at the Ateneo from 1872 to 1877 are all excellent. On the commencement day, March 23, 1877, Rizal, who was 16 years old, received from his alma mater, Ateneo Municipal, the degree of Bachelor of Arts with the highest honors. It was a proud day for his family. But to Rizal, like all graduates, commencement day was a time for bitter sweetness, a joy mellow with poignancy. In the morning, on the day of graduation, he prayed fervently at the college chapel and commended my life as he said to the Virgin, so that when I should step into that world which inspired me with so much terror, she would protect me. Results Extracurricular Activities in Ateneo Aside from his academic triumphs, he was also active in extracurricular activities. An emperor inside the classroom. He was a campus leader outside. He was an active member, later secretary of a religious society, the Marian Congregation. He was accepted as member of this sodality not only because of his academic brilliance, but also because of his devotion 
to Our Lady of Immaculate Conception, the college patrons. Rizal was also a member of the Academy of Spanish Literature and the Academy of Natural Sciences. These academies were exclusive societies in the Ateneo, to which only Ateneans were gifted in literature and sciences could qualify for a membership. In his leisure hours, Rizal cultivated his literary talent under the guidance of Father Sanchez. Aside from writing poetry, he devoted his spare time to fine arts. He studied painting under the famous Spanish painter Agustin Saez and under sculptor Romualdo de Jesus, noted Filipino sculptor. Both art masters honored him with their affection for he was a talented pupil. Furthermore, Rizal, to develop his weak body, he engaged with gymnastics and fencing. He thereby continued physical training to begin with his sports-minded Pio Manuel. Rizal's sculptor work in Ateneo. Rizal carved an image of the Virgin Mary on a piece of patikuling, a Philippine hardwood, with his pocket knife. The fathers of Jesuit were amazed at the beauty and grace of the image. He was also carved sacred heart of Jesus, which placed on student boarding at the door of the dormitory and there remains for many years. Reminding all Ateneans, Dr. Rizal, the greatest alumnus of their alma mater. This image play significant part in Rizal's last hour at the Fort Santiago. So now let's go on with the anecdote of uh, Rizal in the Ateneo. Okay. One of the Rizal's contemporaries in the Ateneo uh, was Felix M. Rojas. So he related an um, incident of Rizal's school days in the Ateneo, so which uh, reveals the hero's resignation to pain and forgiveness. What happened to Rizal? Why it has something to do with um, pain and forgiveness about Rizal's life? So now let's see what happened. One day, many Athenians, including Rizal, were studying lessons uh, in the hallway of their school. So, I'm imagining that the school there was like uh, quite wide. Their hall is quite wide, and there's a lot of uh, studious kids, boys, uh, in the hallway because in Ateneo, um, only the excellent students uh, were going to be qualified when you enter the Ateneo de Manila. Unlike in the other universities, you cannot easily enter their schools. Okay, uh, if you just didn't pass their exam or any other requirements. Okay, now let's go on to the story. Two Ateneans, Manzano and Lezaka, quarreled and violently hurled books at each other. So Rizal, who was busy at his desk, um, pouring over his lessons, of course, maybe there will be an uh, exam. I don't know what uh, is going to happen that time, but I know that Rizal is very studious. But suddenly, okay, he was hit. Um, in the face by one of the throne books so imagine uh, the feeling of uh, someone who was thrown by a book maybe their books was very um, thick and uh, very heavy so I'm imagining some books of the old days their papers was very thick if we can see now uh, their piece is something like colored brown but he did not raise a cry of protest although he was um, very uh, hurt uh, he was bleeding that time 
Okay? His classmates brought him to the infirmary where he had undergone medical treatment for several days. I can imagine that the wound was very crucial. Um, because it took many days to treat. Okay. After that incident, he continued to attend his classes, feeling neither bitterness nor uh, rancor towards the guilty party. So, he was not angry at all. Maybe this is one of the reasons why uh, Mr. Felix M. Rojas uh, appreciated how Rizal's react. Okay, how was his attitude and character at that time? So, he's not just smart. Rizal was not just smart. He was a forgiving person. He's not that uh, so angry when you do something, especially that was an accident. Uh, but of course, Rizal is very good. So another anecdote of Rizal uh, in that area was related by Manuel Ceres Burgos in those house Rizal uh, boarded shortly before he became an interno in the Ateneo. Another anecdote of Rizal uh, illustrates um, by uh, predicting to help the other people. Even uh, it will uh, risk his own life. So one uh, Thursday, uh, some of the boys uh, were playing at that time, and Rizal was just uh, reading a book. I think that was a fable book. Um, he really loved uh, reading, especially fables, <clears throat> at the window. And then uh, he saw a young boy crying, and the reason why he was crying is that uh, his kite was caught uh, by the vines growing on the uh, belfry of the Manila Cathedral, which was near the boarding house. So Rizal that time uh, comforted the boy, the young boy, because because he don't like someone hurting or crying. Um, that time the other boys or the other big boys were like laughing only and they were not doing uh, anything to help the young boy. But what Rizal did, uh, he closed his book and um, he went to the boy, the crying boy, to help him to uh, get the uh, to get the kite. So um, he was very true to his promise. He said to the young boy that, "Don't worry, I will get your kite up there." So uh, imagine he climbed the high cathedral tower and successfully recovered the kite and gave it to the young boy. And I can imagine the face of the young boy was very glad and happy because he finally get his kite. And um, I think the result was happy also, even though that was a very um, nervous part because Rizal was very small that time. Uh, and then he climbed uh, the high cathedral just to uh, get the kite. So that's one of the anecdotes of Rizal. He is very helpful to everyone, even though it will risk his own life. And I think there is a lot of anecdotes uh, Rizal was did during his time because he was a very uh, passionate boy and they, I think they did a lot of anecdotes of Rizal aside from those who was given here. Alright, <clears throat> now let's now proceed to the poems written in Ateneo. So, we all know that uh, Doña Chodora uh, was his mother, uh, Rizal's mother, and uh, she was the first teacher of Rizal um, because uh, I think they noticed that Rizal is very genius and her mother um, discovered the poetical genius of her son and she was the one who motivated who encouraged Rizal to write poems all right however he it was father Sanchez who inspired Rizal to make full use of his God given gift um in poetry so what uh did uh, what father sanchez did was uh, he, i think he helped to enhance rizal uh poetical gift um this was an opportunity uh to rizal um to be mentored by one of the father there in uh, ateneo and this was improved in there the latter's poet poetical art by opening his mind to the enriching influence of the world's literature. So aside from uh, the uh, poems, he was given the opportunity to widen his uh, skill especially uh, to the world's lit literature because uh, I had mentioned a while ago that um, 
the the two teachers in that dinner was very splendid and they were very uh, they were very competitive they were very good okay so the first poem is about during his days in that dinner was uh, my primera inspiration uh, my first inspiration in English I think this was dedicated uh, to his mother on her birthday <clears throat> there was a glance in his heart uh, owing to his mother's in prison upon the release of his mother in 1874 his poetic heart began to sink with ecstasy and joy so this was inspired by father sanchez um, and then aside from that um, during the time that he was uh, mentoring by father sanchez <clears throat> he wrote uh, many poems another thing uh, that Rizal was written is about uh, the religion and uh, about the education so the title was the intimate alliance between religion and good education a result showed the importance of religion in education to him education without God is not true education for me um, that is very logical what is the essence of being an educated person what is the essence of of uh, learning uh, in the school, going to school, uh, spending money in your education, giving effort to do your assignments, projects, and taking a review before going to um, take your exams. If you do not have God, if uh, God is not the center of it all, if God is not the center uh, why you are doing what you are doing so this all is very good um, he has faith to God so I think that is one of his secret just like what was written we cannot do anything without God right so another is there's nothing impossible to God maybe that's the reason why God helped Rizal to uh, be an excellent Ateneo in his time he acknowledged his God he seeks his God uh, first before anything else He also written some religious poems which was entitled to the child Jesus It was written here about God about his child. We all know that God uh, became a flesh uh, To live here on earth just to be with us. I think that he was like 14 years old when he uh, was written his this poem So another uh, religious poem written was uh, to the Virgin Mary so we all know that Virgin Mary was uh, uh, Jesus' mother. And the last poem, which is Through Education, Our Motherland Receives Light, which was written in 1876 at the age of 15. And now let's have our last reporter, Teacher Bernie. We're going to discuss the dramatic work of Rizal. Father Sanchez, the favorite teacher of Rizal, while studying at Ateneo, he requested to write a drama based on the story of St. Eustace de Martin. In 1876, during the summer vacation, he wrote the drama at his hometown in Talamba and finished it on June 2, 1876. In June 1876, upon the opening of the classes at Ateneo, he submitted to the Father Sanchez the finished manuscript as was entitled San Eustachio de Martyr, which is the Saint Eustace de Martyr. Father Sanchez read it and felicitate the young Athenian for work well done. Now we're going to discuss the first romance of Rizal. The 16 years old Rizal experienced his first romance by the girl who was named Segunda Katikba. A pretty 14 years old, Matangenya from Lipa. They first meet at House of Rizal's grandmother in Trozo, Manila, which is now known as Tutuban. They would often to see each other, and the smitten Rizal would sketch her and write poem about her. But it was hopeless since the very beginning because Segunda was already engaged to be married to her townmate, Manuel Luz. In December 1877, he visited Segunda at La Concordia College to say goodbye. 
because he was going home to Kalamba. Segunda Katigba also said that he was also going home but result failed to come up to her. Expectation, he could only mumble. Rizal said, well, goodbye. Anyway, I'll see you when you pass Kalamba on your way to Lipa. At the next day, Rizal arrived by steamer in his hometown. His mother, Chidora, did not recognize Rizal at first due to her failing inside. Rizal was saddened to find out about his mother growing blindness. His sister, Gaily, welcomed him and teasing him about Segunda. That night, he was demonstrating his skill in fencing to his family. The following day, he learned that the steamer carried out that the following day, he learned that the steamers carrying Segunda and her family would have would not. Following day, he learned that the steamer carrying Segunda and her family would not take her on Kalamba because of the strong wind and it would stop in Binyan. He saddled his white horse and wait at the road a cobble gate of Karamatas from Binyan passed by. He saw Segunda smiling and waving her handkerchief at him. He saw his dog, his hat, and was stung died. Her courage rolled on a banish in his distance. Rizal first love, romance, ruined by his own shyness and reserve. Later on, Segunda and Manuel Luz got married while Rizal remained in Calamba. Two years later, Rizal recording his first and tragic romance, said and dead. At the early hours, my first love, my virgin heart, will always mourn the reckless step it took on the flower that in this. My illusion will return, yes, but indifferent and certain, ready for the first betrayal on the path of love. So now, let's make a recap of what we have discussed about the scholastic triumphs of Rizal in Ateneo de Manila. What is the original name of Ateneo de Manila? When was Rizal entered the Ateneo? Who is the one decided Rizal to enter or to study in Ateneo? How the Spanish Jesuits train and teach the students? What do we call the two teams used to divide the students in the classroom? What are the meaning of internos and externos? What are the five rankings in a classroom or in Ateneo de Manila? What is the color of the banner used by Roman Empire? What is the color of the banner used by the Carthagian Empire? In Rizal's time, what they were wearing in Ateneo de Manila? What do we call the material used in the vote? Who was the first professor of Rizal in Ateneo? Where did Rizal took special lessons to enhance his skills in speaking Spanish language? What is the first favorite novel of Rizal? What is the expensive book bought by his father? What is the name of the German scientist and traveler and was the author of the Travels in the Philippines? What is the complete name of the a professor of Rizal who inspired him to study hard and write poems. Who is the mentor of Rizal in painting? Who is the mentor of Rizal in sculpture? Enable to enhance his weak body, who was his personal trainer? What do we call of the wood used by Rizal to carve the image of Virgin Mary? Who requested Rizal to carve the sacred heart of Jesus? 
Rizal has written many poems. So what is the title of the poem uh, which was uh, dedicated to his mother? What is the title of the poem related to education? What is the title of the poem which is related to religion and also connected to education? What are the two religious poems of Rizal? Who was the first girl who broke Rizal's heart? Where did Segunda Katipak study the college? What is the full name of Segunda's brother? To whom was Segunda Katipak engaged with? Thank you so much for listening to our discussion for today. Hope you learned a lot and inspired by the life of Rizal during the time that he was studying in Ateneo de Manila. That would be all. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye for now.